Okay guys, this is our first day in the house and I just thought I'd show you a realistic what's going on in this house right now because moving is not aesthetic and there's just so many things everywhere. Everything is unorganized. I'm honestly a bit overwhelmed just because I like having everything clean and tidy, but I know it'll get there. I just have to trust the process and I am just so eager to get everything unpacked. So this is currently our sleeping arrangements here, our mattress with the bed sheets. And then we have just a whole whack load of random stuff on the floor here just kind of boxes and then in the bathroom over here there's just everything is everywhere so it's a chaotic little mess over here basically boxes everywhere at least we have a mattress though which is really nice and then let's go down the stairs so i can show you guys everything is just kind of a mess down here as well but we set up these two beanbag chairs here because my parents just lent us these for the meantime while we're moving before we get our couch so it's nice because we kind of just put the tv on the floor to watch netflix tonight it's perfect until we get our couch because it's really hard not having like any seating. It feels so good to be in here and I'm honestly really excited to like move and put everything away and do the kitchen and all of that but it's like at the same time it's extremely overwhelming because it's like oh my gosh there's so much to do but slowly but surely we're gonna get there so it's fine but like when I look at it like all the boxes in the garage I'm like holy cow this is gonna take a while but it's okay but tomorrow I think we're gonna go grocery shopping because we have like no groceries here at all we just got some takeout and then gotta bring a bunch of boxes up Probably we're gonna order some furniture tomorrow and then we're just gonna kind of go with the flow see how things go judge it from there anyways that is a little update of tonight so excited to be here though right I'm gonna get ready for bed Hey guys, so we just went to Tim Hortons and we got some breakfast and I got a nice coffee because we just have nothing set up in our kitchen, everything is in boxes and we have absolutely no food. So we went out for breakfast this morning and I'm planning on probably unpacking the kitchen today. So right now we're actually stopped at Walmart. We just have to get a couple random things like I need to get new socks ASAP because my dog loves socks and he chewed like all my socks back at home. So I need to get new socks. I'm just gonna get like five packs probably because I love my socks. Joel just has to get a couple of things and then we're gonna stop over at Best Buy for Joel to get his monitor for his office. And then also we're going to go to Urban Barn because we didn't even realize there was one in the area. So we're gonna go check out Urban Barn and just see what there is, see if anything sparks our eye. And we're probably gonna order a bunch of furniture today as well. But yeah, we just have like so much to do today. So wish us luck. I think I'm also gonna start filming like my aesthetic kitchen makeover because I wanna kind of divide this moving series into separate rooms. So I'm I'm gonna do like a kitchen makeover probably like my glam room makeover and then we'll see from there and maybe even like my bathroom one so i just kind of want to make more structured videos rather than just like random vlogs all over the place just so each individual video could be its own video apart from the movies moving series too so that's the tea for today yeah we're feeling good we're feeling like we have a lot of energy for today so i'm excited and also depending on how the day goes we might go to ikea but we'll see if we even have time we woke up late today because we were just so exhausted from yesterday but yeah Anyways, let's head into Walmart. <clears throat> when you screw something in, you normally have to take it out. Yeah. This one you don't have to take it out. It's way easier. So we just got to Ikea. We just have like a few things that we want to get that are really random. Like we need a dish rack and we're just going to kind of browse and see if anything sparks our attention, you know, catches the eye before we order anything online just to see if we can get anything in person right now. The only thing about Ikea is that I was looking online because I wanted like a dresser, but everything is always sold out here and it sucks because it's just so hard to find stock. And when we moved into our apartment, last year or a year and a half ago whatever whenever it was it was so hard to get anything because it was like when there was a recession and there was just like nothing available but anyway so i hope there's at least some things and yeah we'll see what we come out with yeah let's go ikea shopping one of my favorite things to do because it's always so fun so 
we just came across this little shoe rack and I really like it. This would be perfect for like our entrance way. And then if we don't like it there, we can just put it in the closet. But I think it's so perfect for shoes and definitely gonna be on my mind because it is currently out of stock. So yeah, anyways, I'll keep my eye out if I find anything else, but this is really nice. So hopefully it comes back in stock soon, but it would just be so perfect. So me and Joel are definitely getting this for our bedroom for each night table because it comes with a remote and look at what it happens here. You can switch the colors straight from this remote and it changes to all these cool different colors. Like this would set the tone in the room. Like, oh my God, are you kidding? The only thing is, is that it is sold out right now. There's nothing in stock. So we're just gonna put ourselves like on the wait list and then hopefully it'll come in stock soon. But look, the remote just goes right in here. And then bam, like how sick is that? It's 60 bucks for like the whole kit, but I feel like that's a good price to have like a really cool lamp like that. This is the haul of everything of what we're checking out with. We just have to go pick up something from the warehouse, but other than that, we got a bunch of stuff. So I'll give you guys a haul when I get home, but yeah, so excited. all that we got from Costco we spent $500 you guys but we got a lot of things in bulk like we got a lot of paper towels toilet paper I just got some like period pads and stuff laundry detergent dish soap like just like a bunch of bulky things that are gonna last us a long time like two big packs of ketchup like mayo anyways I got a lot of oat milk as well but yeah, huge haul here, which is really satisfying, but I'm not gonna put it away quite yet because nothing really has a place until I do the kitchen makeover. I'm just gonna kind of stay here in the meantime, but successful Costco haul. some of the more exciting things I got from Costco. I got this Method all-purpose cleaning set and I'm really excited about this because there's no harsh chemicals in these so these are really good and it was so cheap for the whole pack and yeah I just love these cleaners and obviously we need some cleaning supplies and then I just got some dry shampoo and then I just got this laundry detergent it's somewhat natural and then also this soap which is somewhat natural um it's dish soap by the way and then I just got this finish um dishwasher stuff but so I just put away the groceries there's just like oat milk and like random pantry stuff in here and then just some other random stuff, but it's nice and organized in this huge cabinet space underneath the island, which I think I'm gonna use as a pantry, so it's perfect. Time for the long-awaited Ikea haul. I am just obsessed with Ikea. It's so fun being in there, and I've really loved it ever since I was younger. Like, it's just so fun to see the showrooms. Yeah, anyways, so let's do a little Ikea haul. First thing we got is this garbage bin. I just bought one because I wanna see how it fits in like the bathrooms in the kitchen, and then, if it looks good, we'll go and buy more, but I'm just not sure of the size of garbage cans that we want in the house, like in each bathroom. So this is just kind of a tester and then we're gonna see how it goes from here with the size. Next thing is this cute paper towel holder. And then we got this nice sink brush. We had this in black in our apartment. We loved it. I just thought that I'd switch it up with the green. And then this also kind of matches that. This is something that you put over your sink and what it does is it holds like your sponges and your dishcloth just so it doesn't get super like disgusting and musty at the bottom of the sink. And then we bought three of these soap containers just for each bathroom. And then for the kitchen, we bought these two just little, we have to cut off the tags, but they're little cloths to wipe the table and stuff. We're going kind of with like a cute colorful theme here. And then I just bought this dishcloth i have actually one of these already and i love it so much um so i just got another one to have and then i just bought these dish um gloves because my hands are like really dry when they have eczema on them and they're just beige and green which is super cute and then we got these dish racks because before in our apartment we had like a material dish dryer rack thing but it kind of got super gross because it would always be wet and it would smell sometimes so because these are like 
not you know material we can just easily wash them and it's fine if they get super wet and we actually bought two just in case we need like more drying space because we've always just had the issue where we need more space to dry our dishes so i'm just going to stack them like this and then if we ever need two we can just use them both and then we got two of these bath towels i'm not like 100 percent sure on how, on how i feel about them yet but they're just simple like kind of checkered fabric they're the same as a dishcloth but these are bath towels and yeah i'm just gonna hang these up in our bathroom and see how i like them so got two of these and then for little face cloths we just got this pack of beige ones just comes with four i think and then we got these cute little broccoli mitts for the kitchen we didn't even intentionally do a green thing but it's kind of cute stuff like this like oven mitts and like colored stuff that i bought are things that can easily be interchanged meaning like when the oven mitts get like old or we're bored of them we can easily buy a new pair since they're so cheap but i feel like it's fun to spice things up with color in that way how cute are these just couldn't pass them up we got this bath mat we're not actually sure if it's gonna fit in the bathroom hopefully it does because it's so fuzzy and soft and nothing is better than stepping out of the shower onto a nice fuzzy big bath mat we used to have like really small ones in our apartment and it just didn't get that same effect when you step out of the shower so i'm gonna test this see if it fits in our bathroom and if it does we're definitely gonna keep it because it's so nice and warm and fuzzy and then the next thing we got is this utensil divider because ours is really really small from our apartment because our drawer wasn't that big so this one is going to fill up the drawer really nicely and i really like the wooden it should fit in our drawer pretty nice and then okay the last thing i think it's the last thing that we got from ikea is a dish set so we right now we have black dishes and they're matte black they're really nice but i just kind of wanted to switch it up and get some lighter ones just so we can have a mix of both so we got these and they're in cream so it's just going to be neutral and match with everything so now we have a set of black and cream dishes which is nice to like switch up the black ones have held up really nicely and we're really impressed with like the quality of them so yeah perfect and that is the ikea haul one thing that's been making this move a lot more enjoyable is my new foam case and this is from Taurus. They sent me this one in pink and this one in clear. This has a built-in kickstand, you guys. Look at this. You can not only prop your phone up straight, but you can do it sideways as well. Look at how well this just seamlessly goes back into the case. So when I'm moving and I'm packing boxes, as you guys probably saw in my kitchen makeover video, I had this thing propped up so many times so I can watch a video while I was unpacking and it kept me so entertained. And I haven't only been using it for moving, but I've been using it for when I do my yoga, when I'm cooking, when I'm working, I have my phone propped up. Like you can use it in your office, you can use it wherever and whenever, which is amazing. And not just that, but this phone case is actually MagSafe. So you could take a charger and stick it on the back just like that and your phone will charge cordless through the case. So this magnetic ring is actually built with a special material called Hellbatch Array. And what it does is it brings the most fast and stable charge. It's actually the most advanced magnetic tech which is so amazing Our cases are actually full body shockproof with 360 protection and it's also scratch and shatter resistant what's so great about these cases as well is they're anti-yellow but yeah their cases are not just functional and practical but they're also so cute and aesthetic like so fun and they have a lot to choose from on their website and the link will be in the description if you want to buy one of course but yeah thank you so much to Taurus for sponsoring this video um go shop them if you would like to so at Ikea, we picked up a dining room table. We weren't originally gonna get one from Ikea, but then we saw it in store and we really liked it. So Joel's gonna build it right now and he's gonna build it just in this space here because this is where the dining room table goes. And then we're gonna really be able to see if it fits the space. And if we don't end up liking it, we can always return it so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, so he's gonna build it right now and then I'll show you guys. We haven't gotten chairs for it yet, so I'll let you guys know what I'm thinking later and I can get your opinion. There was only one left in stock, so I feel like it's meant to be, but we'll see how we like it. Here is the new table. I'm kind of obsessed. I actually really, really, really like it. And this tone of wood just really fits the space and just like really pulls everything together. I'm just like obsessed how it's a mix of a square table and a round table because that's one thing that we were debating if we wanted a round or square table. But this is like a happy medium, which is amazing. Thank you. 
Here is the couch. I'm actually obsessed with it. It's kind of bigger or actually a lot bigger than our last one. I don't think we're going to be keeping the rug because as you can see, it's too small for this area. So I'm definitely going to get a new rug and I think I might just keep this, but we'll see. Couch looks amazing and it fits in the spot perfectly. We just did a makeshift little thing here. Um, this is actually going to go in my room, so don't mind this. It's just because we haven't mounted, mounted the TV yet. So it's just going to be here so we can watch TV tonight, so it's not like on the floor. But we're definitely going to upgrade to a bigger carpet, so I'm going to order one. And we're also thinking that instead of this ottoman, we're going to replace it with an ottoman that comes with the couch. So we had an option of getting an extra ottoman for this couch, but we didn't do it just because we didn't know if we were going to have space. But we decided that we're going to get it because we do have space for it and we're just going to put it like right here or in the middle. Then you can make it more of like a bed vibe. And it's just going to be super cozy to have that extra ottoman. And then once the big carpet is in, it's going to look so good. So we're going to go try to pick the ottoman up right now and order it. And hopefully I can fit it in my car because these pieces are pretty big. But yeah, I'll update you guys. We just bought the cat, I mean the ottoman. So it's in stock and we're gonna go see if we can pick it up from the warehouse. Did he, wait, Joel, I think, did we misunderstand him? Did he say that we can pick it up no problem tomorrow? He, he said, said no problem tomorrow, but today it should be fine. He said if there's a problem, give him, give him, give him. Okay, so hopefully we can pick it up today. Not 100% sure, if not tomorrow, but we don't even know if it's gonna fit in my car. So that's kind of a tricky situation because if it doesn't fit in my car, then we're gonna need to get another car, like my parents' van. So yeah, hopefully it'll fit in my car. It's really annoying having a car sometimes because things just don't, like, obviously this doesn't even happen often. Like this is the only time we were really gonna have this issue is when we're moving in and like when we need to transport big stuff, but that's one thing why I want like an SUV for my next car because just like instances like this it's really nice to have like a bigger car just in case you never know when you may need it so anyways we're gonna go pick up hopefully the ottoman if we can come back with it that'll be like a miracle like I think we can fit a miracle yeah we'll see keep you guys updated We miraculously got the ottoman. There's the cushion for the ottoman, but I need to tell you guys the story. Me and Joel, we went to the store, paid for the ottoman, but the guy at the cash was like, oh, like our system is kind of down. So it says that you haven't paid yet, but like it took my payment from my card, but it just didn't register in the system yet. So he's like, go to the warehouse, see if you can pick it up, but it might not, you might not be able to pick it up because it says your payment didn't go through. So we went to the warehouse and then the guy was like, oh, like your payment hasn't gone through yet, so you can't pick it up. So I call the store back and I'm like, hey, like when's my payment gonna go through? And they're like, oh, we'll give you a call in a couple of minutes. Like we're just updating our system and then it should be fine. Anyway, so then half an hour later, our payment finally went through. And then we went back to go get the ottoman. They got it out of the warehouse, but it was not fitting in my car. Like the trunk wouldn't close because I have a sedan. So the trunk like was, just like resting on top of it and wouldn't close and obviously you can't just drive like that or else it's gonna fly up and break the trunk miraculously this guy with a truck is coming to pick up his delivery and he parks right beside us he sees that we're struggling to get this in the car and he's like oh hey guys like let me help and then he's like oh you guys need a bungee cord and then he goes in the back of his truck he gets us a little bungee cart cord that fits perfectly for our car we're like oh my god you're so nice like thank you so much and then i'm like are you gonna be here like we could come back drop it off or you can give us your address or whatever and he's like no keep it like you guys will probably need it in the future he's like no problem just keep it like are you kidding me this gives me faith again in humanity like stuff like that is just the universe like balancing out and the timing of my card payment not going through to him pulling up because when we came at first there was nobody there like nobody there that could help us because the parking lot was empty but he just miraculously pulled up beside us had the perfect bungee cord so we could take the ottoman home and it was just like wow the universe is really on your side and karma does exist the other day me and joel got scammed like 150 bucks and it was literally just a scam and we just lost that money for no reason but it's like karma cause and effect like anything that negatively happens to you you're going to get good karma back because it's like the universe always balances out it, this just like 
goes to show that karma is real and like there's good people out there and the universe always balances itself out so if something bad happened to you just know that good is coming your way because the universe is always balanced anyways that's just like a little life lesson that we just got kind of just reassurance anyways we're gonna set up this ottoman now that i just had to share that story because it's a good life lesson but let's get this ottoman set up we're just gonna take out the carpet here and the uh, what we have here now because we're not gonna be using that anymore so then we just have to wait till our new carpet comes in so here is how the couch turned out with the ottoman we love it so much and we think the ottoman just gives a more cozy vibe and it matches the couch really nicely and just fills out the space also i wanted to show you guys the rug that we picked out for the space i feel like this is just like a funky addition that we can always switch out on the future if we get bored of it yet it's still neutral so i don't know i just feel like it's going to look really good i'm excited for that to come in and then this next rug here is going to go under the dining room table for a more cozy vibe so stay tuned for the next episode of this series to see how everything looks when it comes in. did a bit of a grocery shop we found a whole food store near us we love it so much just like such a vibe in there and i don't really like shopping at like generic grocery stores because it's like the vibe is so different when you go to like a little smaller grocery store i don't know how to describe it but i just like grocery shopping and like more whole foods like organic stores because they have like so many good products that like regular grocery stores just don't have anyway so we found our new grocery store which is exciting yeah we just kind of stocked up it's like our first time grocery shopping besides like costco and just that quick superstore run and we kind of just went today on a whim because we were already out and now we can actually cook something for dinner tonight which is nice so this is kind of our first home cooked meal for dinner because i've just been having noodle bowls for the past couple days and like easy cereal stuff like that so tonight is going to be good because we actually have some stuff to make dinner but yeah it's exciting our first little grocery shop in the new house so let me give you guys a bit of a haul so here is the little grocery haul. We have some organic cheddar. We have some grass-fed butter. Um, so got two of these because we go through butter pretty fast. Joel literally just eats it like that. Um, and then I got this oat creamer that I decided to try. I've never had this before, but it looks so good. And then we just got some salts because we don't have any fine salt like this for our salt shakers. And then we just got this um, naughty Thai soup. We actually used to get this at Whole Foods all the time, so we're bringing it back and it's so good. Got some organic sourdough, some honey Dijon chips, and then some Zevias. These are vanilla Coke and these are so good. They're flavored with Stevia and their new packaging is so cute and aesthetic and retro. I love it. And then we just got two types of teas. We got chamomile and then this nighty night tea because we want to start our tea collection. So yeah, that's a little haul. Thank you. 